Hey everyone, I am Jess. Welcome back to the Drifter Journey channel. Today we are going to do a quick review of the Lytime 100 amp hour lithium ion battery. I've got it boxed up still here, so we're going to do an unboxing. I'll talk about some of the features and why it is changing the lithium ion battery game. As always, we thank you guys for your support. Uh, you can support us by shopping through any of the links in the description below, and I will include a link for this battery as well as a discount code for those of you who are interested in shopping around. So with that being said, let's get into this battery. Okay, before we dig in, I will say they sent this battery to me at no charge, um, but I am excited because I've been reading a lot about this Lifetime brand now, and uh, they're kind of at the forefront of smaller sizes, lower prices, better technology, all in the same package. So um, first, when we open up the box, it's got this nice little uh, folio with your instructions. I actually really like it when companies go the extra mile on packaging because it just shows that they're um, thinking about the experience and giving you the resources that you need in order to successfully use their product. So uh, this is the 100 amp hour lithium ion battery. Uh, they've got a quick reference product manual which is helpful. Um, they've got some specs about this product and other products, and I'll mention a couple of those later on. And then a quick start guide as far as what you should be doing to get it hooked up. And of course, gotta have stickers, whole bunch of cool stickers. So, um, comes with the post bolts right on top, it says on this foam. I'll show you guys. Post bolts here. All right. Let's pull her out. All right, so first of all, I'm just gonna point out, I do work out, but a 100 amp hour battery I can lift pretty easily. Um, that is impressive in and of itself. The other thing that I wanted to note um, before I got too deep into this product is just the footprint. I mean, look at how small this is for 100 amp hour battery. Greg and I had uh, two 200 amp hour AGM batteries in our last van and they were easily almost twice the size each. So that would have been uh, crazy because two 200 amp hour AGM batteries is 400 amp hours, but for AGM, that's only 200 usable kind of speaking Greek for people who are new to the solar power battery game. But theoretically, if this is almost half the size of one of those batteries, I could put four of these in the same footprint and have 400 usable amp hours of power, which is pretty incredible. It's one of the reasons why a lot of people are moving to lithium is just for the footprint and the weight savings alone. I mean, there was no way I could have lifted one of those 200 amp hour AGM batteries myself. Um, I could easily lift two of these myself. And up until recently, a lot of people were holding off on converting into to lithium because of the cost. But these are becoming much more accessible now and the technology is amazing. So let's talk about some of the features. So I love that one of the goals of Lightime is to make it as easy as possible to get it set up. Uh, this quick start guide shows that the battery has to be shipped between 30 to 50% capacity and they recommend that you hook it up to a trickle charger in order to top it off to 100% before you wire it into your system. You would want to take these post covers off they cool little plastic doodads and put your posts on. Okay, you're gonna wanna use a wrench or socket to get those tight because there are locking washers on there. You can see that it is Bluetooth enabled. Um, I find that that is really neat because our old AGM batteries did have Bluetooth, but it was an add-on and it was this little sensor that we had to have near the battery. This is built in and I've already hooked it up to my phone. So I'll show you guys the app here. It is the Lytime Orange app there. And I've already connected it. So it's pretty self-explanatory as far as connecting. You know, you just either scan this QR code in the app 
or uh, enable Bluetooth and have your phone scan for the app itself. You can see that this battery is currently at 47%. It is in standby. So obviously we are not bringing in or using any power. Uh, it's got 48.8 amp hour capacity and uh, we can kind of click around and see what it says. So balance, under good conditions, your battery is well balanced. Okay, cool. How about cells? My battery cells are functioning normal. Neat. BMS, battery management system, normal. So if you had any red flags and things weren't really uh, looking right in here, it's a really quick point of reference. Um, and it also tells you the current temperature of the battery, the cycle time, and then your software firmware version. So you can update that as well. As I mentioned when I started this video, this is the 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour battery. Uh, they do make a wide variety of sizes. In addition to this one, they also make a uh, 100 amp hour, 200 amp hour, and then they have a 240 amp hour, all of them also coming in their plus line, uh, which offers a few more features. And Lightime is also making these in a self-heating battery as well, which if you guys are kind of new to the world of lithium batteries, this is actually a really cool feature because uh, these batteries have to be operated at a certain temperature. And once it gets too cold for them, they either won't recharge or discharge at all. So the product manual uh, gives you a temperature range of the charge and discharge and storage temperatures. This one is good down to um, 32 degrees Fahrenheit for charging, down to negative four for discharging, and down to 14 for storage. That's all in degrees Fahrenheit. So if you can imagine you wanna use this uh, during the ski season, uh, it could easily get colder than that in your vehicle if you're not heating the space and even easier to get colder than that storage temperature of 14 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, I've seen some fellow friends in the uh, Nomad community having issues with their power systems not working when they get below a certain temperature. Um, so those self-heating batteries are I would absolutely look at those and um, maybe assess whether or not you would be needing that feature. From what I understand, it doesn't pull that much power to self-heat the battery and it gives you a lot of peace of mind. The nice thing that I'm really liking about the Lifetime brand is that it seems like that they're offering so many resources for people um, throughout the product booklet. Uh, basically every paragraph says, if you have questions about this step, call or email us. And their support service uh, email address is literally right on the product. So even if you lose that manual, you can contact them with questions. Um, they have a QR code here to scan and look up videos for installation. Um, and it's a very robust resource. So I'm pretty impressed with the brand, impressed with the product. I'm pretty excited to get it set up into our truck camper um, and maybe even have some more for an off-grid greenhouse or uh, storage container type situation where we don't want to run power out to it. So uh, again, overall, check out the Lifetime batteries and use our discount code in the description box below for a discount. Thank you guys for watching.